Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing good, but I have good a little evening. problem. Tengo un pequeño problema. Eh, tengo un problema de internet. No cuento con internet en este momento, así que eh, me, me estoy conectando a través de mis propios datos móviles. Razón por la cual no voy a poner la cámara para no gastármelo innecesariamente. Okay, so everybody, um, here we go. Okay, so uh, first thing, I need to share the screen with you. Just give me a moment, please. Okay. All right. Just a second. Just a moment, please. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with you now. Uh, just a moment, okay. And now I'm going to call attendance. Thank you, thank you. When you hear your name, please let me know. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Present teacher. Thank no you. sé si me escucha. I can hear you, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, the next one. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tovar. Present teacher. Thank you. Doribel Arely Arriaza Flores. Doribel Arely Arriaza Flores. Doribel, no. Okay. Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Thank you. Just give me a second. Okay. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Herbert Adán Miranda. Está por acá, Herbert Adán Miranda. Thank you. Isabu Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. 
Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. I'm here. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Marín eh, Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. I'm ready, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. I'm calling uh, those who haven't replied. Doribel Arelí Arreaza Flores. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Jasmin, what? I'm sorry. Yeah, Catherine Jasmin, Jasmin, I'm sorry, Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martinez Ramos. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Okay. Everybody, welcome. Once again, this is Inglés Pre-Intermedio Módulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. And this is session 14th, and today is June the 14th of 2023. So what are we going to do? We're going to have a review on this topic, present continuous for the future, okay? So I want you to take a look at that. The first sentence says, they are playing tennis, but that is happening right now. They're playing tennis now in this moment. But now look at this man. He says, I'm playing tennis tomorrow. He has an appointment, Monday, 2.30, tennis. So you say he is playing tennis tomorrow. So how do you use it? We use am, is, or are plus the verb in ing, that is the present continuous, for something happening right now. For example, where are Sue and Amanda? They are playing tennis in the park. You can also say, please be quiet. I am working. Now we also use am, is, and are plus the verb in ing, that's the present continuous, for the future. And that's what we are studying right now. 
Andrew is playing tennis tomorrow. Okay. Andrew is playing tennis tomorrow. This is not happening right now. This is a different situation because we're talking about the future. And the second one is, I am not working next week. We're talking about the future right there. This is not the present. It's not a situation happening in this moment. This is about the future. And okay. now we're going to study how to do this. Okay, we have a chat entry. Dorivel dice presente. Yes. A question. Uh, they are playing tennis now, but uh, the same sentence is possible they are playing is tomorrow. They're playing tomorrow. They're playing tennis tomorrow. Yes. It's the okay. same verb tense. You can use it for the present, what is happening right now, or you can use it for the future when you have an arrangement. Yes, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow or next okay. week. So um, let's continue. Take a look. Present continuous for the future. When you say, I am doing something tomorrow, that means I have a range to do it. I have a plan to do it. And what is an arrangement? An arrangement is usually a plan that you have involving specific people, a specific place, a specific time, and a specific activity. Those are arrangements. For example, Sophie is going to the dentist on Friday. No va a ir de casualidad, ya tiene una cita. So she has an appointment with the dentist. The dentist said, okay, here in my office with me, uh, 3 p.m., okay? So that's an arrangement. The second one, we are having a party next weekend. This is not just an intention, it's an arrangement. Because if you're having a party next weekend, maybe you have already sent the invitations, you have already bought the food, you already have the music that you're going to play. You have the place, okay, where you are going to celebrate that party, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The next one is, are you meeting your friends tonight? Do you have a, an arrangement to meet your friends tonight? You say, yes, I'm meeting them at, and then you say the name of a mall, for example. You have the place, you have the people, you have the time, and maybe the food you're going to eat, all that. That's why we use present continuous. The next one is, what are you doing tomorrow night? What are you doing? What arrangements do you have for tomorrow night? And finally, I'm not going out tonight. I am staying home. And you can see that lady, she's very happy. She says, I'm going to a concert tomorrow with that very big ticket she has right there. I'm going to a concert tomorrow. So what's next? Present continuous for the future. We use the present continuous, for example, I am staying, are you coming, etc., to say what somebody has arranged to do, okay? For example, I'm staying home tomorrow. That's my arrangement, okay? I decided that I'm staying home tomorrow. Are you going out tonight? Do you have an arrangement to go out tonight? Maybe you're going out with your friends, with your family, okay? Or from uh, friends from work, et cetera, et cetera. And then Lisa isn't coming to the party next week, okay? That's an arrangement right there. She made it official. But now look, we use the simple present like start or arrives for schedules, trains, buses, etc. This is something over which you have no control. In the first ones, you could use present continuous because they are your arrangements. You have some control over them. But in the case of present simple, when you use present simple for the future, we're talking about something that we have no control over. Okay. Example, our plane arrives in New York at 7.30 tomorrow morning. If you are early, good, you will take the, the, the plane. But if you are late, sorry, the plane will leave you because the, the sorry, uh, we're talking about arriving, sorry. But you can also talk about leaving, okay? So it's about a very specific time. It's a very specific schedule, okay? And there is nothing you can do to change that. You have no power over that schedule. 
So the second one is, what time does the movie end tonight? Okay, maybe the movie ends at 10.30 p.m. Maybe. So uh, that's the time it finishes and you cannot change that. So this is a schedule. This is a train. This is, you use it for buses, et cetera, et cetera. Now I want you to compare, okay? There is present continuous usually for people and there is present simple for schedules. I am going to a concert tomorrow because you are the person going, you have the ticket. So you say, I am going to a concert tomorrow. But what about the present simple for schedules? The concert starts at 7.30. If you are early, good. If you are late, sorry. Okay, the concert starts at the same time. And because you don't have any decision or power over this, you use it in present simple, but it's all about the future. Second example here on present continuous, usually for people. What time are you leaving? A que hora te vas? What time are you leaving? Okay, now present simple for schedules. What time does your plane leave? Okay, that's the structure of present simple. Why is that? Because, well, you, you don't have any power over this, okay? The plane leaves at a specific time and that's the time it leaves. If you're early, good. If you're late, sorry. So that's the idea. That's present continuous for the future and present simple also for the future because that can work. So we did this exercise yesterday. It's your turn. Look at the pictures. What are these people doing next Friday? You have it here. Dan is playing tennis. Sorry, Andrew is playing tennis. Dan is going to the movies. Rachel is meeting Dave. Uh, Karen is having lunch with Will. And Sue and Tom are going to a party. So we're not going to repeat this exercise because we completed it yesterday. Instead, a question. Yes, what's your the, question? Uh, yes, it's, the, it's possible to say uh, Karen is eating lunch with Will? Karen is eating lunch or having lunch with Will, eating instead of having. Yes. Yeah, it's possible, but having is, is more formal and uh, most people use it. But yeah, you can say eating, no problem. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, the next part. Just remind me, did we complete this exercise? Completamos este ejercicio? Me parece que sí. Yeah, we did, right? Okay, so you have some examples right here. Are you going out tonight? Are you working next week? What time, sorry, what are you doing tomorrow night? What time are your friends coming? When is Liz going on vacation? Are you going to the party? What time uh, are you leaving? Are you going to the beach next weekend? When is Andrew coming back? And are you visiting your parents tomorrow? Okay, so here's your turn. How about this one? I believe we completed only like five or six of these. ¿Por dónde nos quedamos? We complete all, teacher. We completed everything. I'm sorry. I'm a little tired. I forget. Okay, so we completed this exercise. So are you going out? Ah, yeah, true. I remember now. Are you going out tonight? You said, no, I'm too tired. We are going to a concert tonight. It starts at 7.30. Okay, then you have, listen to this, Karen is getting married next month because it's an arrangement. My parents are going on vacation next week. They have the tickets, okay, for their vacation. It's, it's a very strong plan. Say, so, oh, that's nice. Where are they going? Okay, number five, Anna is taking an English course this semester. The, co the course ends on Friday because Anna has no power on the course or anybody else for that matter. Number six, there's a party tomorrow night, but I am not going, okay? 
The next one is, I am going out with some friends tonight. Why don't you come too? We are meeting at John's house at eight. Number eight, how are you getting home after the party tomorrow by taxi? And the other person says, no, I can go by bus. The bus leaves at midnight because you don't decide what time it leaves. It only leaves. So the bus leaves at midnight. What about the next one? Do you want to go to the movies tonight? Yeah, what time does the movie begin? Okay, that's present simple again. And the last one, what are you doing tomorrow afternoon? This person says, I am working. Okay, I am working. For the next exercise. Okay, now this is your turn. Write sentences about yourself. What are you doing in the next few days? Okay, I want you to complete. Well, there are two examples. I'm staying home tonight. That could be a plan that you have. Or maybe after the class, you want to go to a restaurant and then you say like, I am meeting some friends in a restaurant after the class. I don't know. Okay, this next one is, I'm going to the theater on Sunday. You have two examples of plans that a person might have. I am going to give you five minutes for you to complete number three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to give you five minutes to complete five exercises. Write sentences about yourself. What are you doing in the next few days? Recuerde que tiene que ocupar present continuous en cada una de ellas para referirse al futuro. So I'm going to give you five minutes right now for you to complete three, four, five, six, and seven. You have to write true sentences, oraciones verdaderas. And then we're going to share with the class. So five minutes begin right now, please. Five, five minutes, remember.
Okay. Number three. Salvador Palomo de Rebeca Abigail. Okay. Uh, I am visiting my dentist on Thursday. I am visiting my dentist on Thursday. Okay, that's good. I'm visiting or I'm seeing the dentist on Thursday. That sounds good. Thank you very much, Salvador. Now, Rebeca Abigail. I'm playing soccer on the Saturday. I'm playing soccer on Saturday. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Por acá, Marina Esmeralda nos comunica que ya está por acá. Okay, thank you. Um, Eri Antonio nos dice, I'm going to work on Saturday. Sería, en, en vez de I'm going to work, sería I'm working on Saturday. Okay, Wendy Lisette. And then Braulio, and then Juan Carlos, and then Saúl Alexander, and then Salvador. Okay. I'm eating afterwards of the class. So I'm eating something after class. Okay. Okay, I'm eating something after class. Okay, sounds sounds good. Braulio Heriberto. Um, teacher, I am working to the Sunday. I am working on Sunday. Okay, I'm working on Sundays. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Juan Carlos Maravilla. I'm going to play it on the weekend. Can you repeat it, please? I'm going to play it on the weekend. Okay, you, what are you going to play? Uh, Saturday. Pero ¿qué es lo que va a jugar? Play soccer. Ah, okay. So I am playing soccer playing. on the weekend. Okay, I'm playing soccer on the weekend. Thank you. Uh, Saul Alexander Lozano. I am visiting my brother Sunday at 4 p.m. I am visiting my brother on Sunday at 4 p.m. Okay, that's very specific. Okay, thank you, Saul. Salvador Palomo, once again. Okay. Uh, I am going out with my friends on Friday. I'm going out with my friends on Friday. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you, Salvador. Anybody okay. else? Anybody else who wants to participate? Tratan de participar. Okay, Salvador. Okay. I'm going to the cinema tonight. I'm going to the cinema tonight. Really? After the class? Yes. Okay, good. What are you watching? I'm going to to watching uh, I am watching Pirata del Caribe and I'm watching Pirata del Caribe 12. Okay, I'm watching Pirates of the Caribbean 12. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, uh Claudia Maria. I'm going to the work tomorrow in the morning. Okay, or you can say, I am working tomorrow morning. Okay, I am working, uh -huh. press and continuous, right? I am okay. working tomorrow morning. Okay, sounds great. Anybody else who wants to share uh, sentences? Nobody? Okay, then let's continue. Thank you for your participation. Okay, everybody. Okay, now we have to study the other, you know, uh, say structure that can be used for the future and that is going to. That's a bit different. Eh, recordemos bajar la manita cuando ya haya concluido nuestra participación. Okay, going to, you have a, uh, this lady, for example, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. You have this lady this morning. In the morning, she said, I'm going to watch TV this evening. Okay. And this is her this evening. Now, she is going to watch TV this evening. 
So we also use am, is, and are going to in a verb for the future. You say, I am going to, he is going to, we are going to, or the negative form, I am not going to, he is not going to, she is not going to, we are not going to. And after that, you have to use a verb in base form. Do, drink, watch, etc. That is the affirmative form. But what about the question form? In the question form, first you have to use the verb be, and after that you have to use the subject. So am I going to do? Is he going to drink? Are we going to watch? Etc. That's the structure. You have to use the verb be and then going to, and after that, a verb in base form. But how is this different from the present continuous for the future? Well, take a look. When you use going to, I am going to do something that means I have decided to do it. My intention is to do it. That's the difference. Going to is not for arrangements, okay? Going to is for decisions. It's for intentions. Examples. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I am going to buy some books tomorrow. This is not an arrangement. It's an intention that I have. It's a decision that I have made. Voy a comprar unos libros mañana. Okay. Where are you going to buy the books? Maybe you don't know. Maybe you haven't decided. How many books are you going to buy? Maybe you don't know. Okay, are you going to go alone or with some friends? Mm, you don't know that. You need to ask some people. So right now, what you have is not an arrangement. What you have is an intention. It's a plan, but it's not an arrangement. I say, I am going to buy some books tomorrow. Where? I don't know. I have to look for a bookstore. The next one, Sandra is going to sell her car. She said, I don't want to have a car anymore. Traffic is too bad. Also, it's very expensive. So I'm going to sell it. This is not an arrangement. It's only an intention. This is a plan of Sandra. It's an intention of Sandra. Sandra is going to sell her car. The next one, I'm not going to have breakfast this morning. I am not hungry. Next example. What are you going to wear to the wedding next week? What are you going to wear to the wedding? ¿Qué te vas a poner para la boda? So what have you decided to wear? We're talking about a decision right here. What have you decided to wear? What are you going to wear for the wedding next week? Next example, it's a conversation. Your hands are dirty. Tienes las manos sucias. Your hands are dirty. Yes, I know. I'm going to wash them. Me las voy a lavar. Okay. I'm going to wash them. And finally, you have this. Are you going to invite Max to your party? Do you have the intention of inviting Max to your party? Is it your plan to invite Max to your party? So you have this kid right there. He's saying... I'm not going to have breakfast this morning because I'm not hungry. Okay, so she, he has no intention of having breakfast. But now look at this. We also use the present continuous, like I am doing, que es lo que estudiamos ayer y ahora, for the future, especially for arrangements. I am playing tennis with Julia tomorrow. Now, this is not only an intention. This is an arrangement. I called Julia and I asked her, hey, Julia, do you want to play tennis with me? And she said, yes. Okay, where? And now we have a specific place. What time? Now you have a specific time, etc., etc. That's an arrangement. So in other words, just for this to be perfectly clear, you use press and continues for the future. You use it for arrangements those are plans 
with um, particular people in, give me a moment, please. Just a second. Sorry. So you have a plans with particular people. Let's say specific. Sounds better. Plans uh, with specific people in a specific place at a specific time, etc. Those are arrangements. So you use present continuous for arrangements. But what about going to plus the verb? Verb, you use it for uh, intentions and you use it for plans. That's the thing. There is a difference between an arrangement and a plan, okay? For example, imagine that you say, I'm going to buy uh, a computer. I'm going to buy a computer. Okay, that's a plan that you have. It's an intention. It's not an arrangement. So you have to be very careful right there. Do you understand the difference? Se comprende la diferencia? Hello, people? Do you understand the difference? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right. Also, you use going to for predictions. Look, something is going to happen. This is not a plan. This is not an intention that you have. This is a prediction that you make. When something is going to happen, that means we can see now that it is sure to happen. For example, look at this. Look at the picture. He says it's going to rain. Why does he say that? Because he's looking up and he's seeing the black clouds. That's his evidence. So when you say, look at the sky, it's going to rain. Why? Because black clouds right now mean rain later. Okay. So this person is making a prediction based on evidence. And the evidence right here, are the clouds. You can say, oh no, it's nine and I am not ready. I am going to be late. Now, is this, is, is it the intention of the person to be late? The answer is no, this person has no intention of being late. He is making a prediction because nine now and not ready means late. Okay, that's for sure. So again, remember you use going to for decisions, intentions, plans, and also predictions when you have solid evidence for it. Okay, that's the thing. So just give me a moment, please. Over here. Okay, so I want you to do me a favor. Everybody, please do me a favor right here. I want you to uh, write five sentences about plans or intentions that you have. Please, I want you to write five sentences expressing plans or intentions. Pero ojo, no tienen que ser arrangements. Solo intenciones, cosas que usted quiere hacer. And you are going to use going to. I am going to do this and that. I am going to buy a new computer. I am going to clean my room, etc., etc. Five sentences, please. Write five sentences.
Five sentences, please. Two more minutes, two more minutes. One more minute. I'm going to send you this information. Just give me a moment. Oh, I haven't sent you any information. So I'm going to send it to you right now because I'm, I totally forgot to do this, the other class. So here's it, okay. I'm sending this to you via WhatsApp.
Okay. Now I need the uh, volunteers, okay, to read the sentences. Raulio, and then Wendy, and then Salvador, and then Saul. Okay, Raulio, let's begin. Uh, I am going to watch uh, the movie in the night. I'm going to watch a movie tonight, okay? Okay, you can say that. I'm going to watch a movie tonight. Very good, Raulio, thank you. Wendy Lisette. I'm going to buy my pet tomorrow. I'm going to buy a pet tomorrow. A uh, bañar teacher. Ah, I'm going to bathe. Beef. Be bathe. Bathe. Uh, I'm going to bathe my pet tomorrow. I am going to bathe my pet tomorrow. I'm going to bathe my pets tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, Salvador Palomo. Okay, teacher. I am going to sell my car. I'm going to sell my car. Okay, that sounds I good. Am, I am not going to have a lunch tomorrow. I am not going to have lunch tomorrow. Okay. Are you going to invite the teacher for your party? Are you going to invite the teacher for the party? Okay, but now you're uh, giving me examples. But what I want you to, to do is, I want you to give me uh, sentences about your own intentions. Okay. Okay. Is, in another one is, is, is going to rain, to rain. It is going it, to rain. Yeah. In, in what is Saul, Alexander is going to make another movie. He's going to make another movie. Why, has he made a movie before? And, and is, he, he is looks he, like an he, actor. He looks like an actor. Okay. Yeah. Is, is he an actor or a, or a, a movie make a, a, he, a movie producer? He's come from Canada, I think so. Comes from Canada, really? Because he he he, he, he I don't know. <laughs> well, that's a lot of information right there. Okay, Saul, what do you have to say I'm, about that? I'm proud of him. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I'm going to buy seafood in one. I'm going to buy seafood when? In wine. In wine. In wine. Okay, I'm going to buy seafood and wine. Okay, romantic. Uh huh. What else? Margarita is going to buy some liquors. Margarita is going to buy some liquors. Liquor. Oh my God. Okay, what are you planning <laughs> to do? Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Saul, Doribel wants to participate now. Okay, Doribel. I am going to dancing um, Saturday. Okay, so you say, I am going to dance on Saturday. Dance. Uh -huh. I am going to dance on okay. Saturday. Another sentence. Una otra que tengan por ahí. Ok, Braulio. I'm going to visit uh, the church. I'm going to visit the church or I'm going to go to church, you can say. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to church. I'm going to go to church. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, thank you, Braulio. All right, uh, we're going to move into the next activity. We don't have much time because it's 9.56. So your turn, take a look at this. What are these people saying? You have to use going to. What are these people saying? Number one, con going to, ¿verdad?
Wendy, then Saúl, then Salvador. Siempre son los mismos que me participan, me participa Wendy, Saúl, Salvador, Braulio, y los demás que pasó. Ok, tratemos de participar, tratemos de producir un poco. Algo que yo siempre eh, le digo a la gente, si usted quiere aprender a hacer algo, tiene que hacerlo. Si solo nos dedicamos a observar cómo se hace algo, difícilmente vamos a aprender. Así que por eso la práctica es necesaria. Y por eso les invito, traten de participar. No solo a estar como espectadores durante la clase, sino también como participantes activos en ella. ¿Sí? Eh, otra, otra razón por la cual yo pido que la gente participe es porque así puedo hacer correcciones pertinentes también. Usted se equivoca, yo le puedo corregir, pero si usted no participa, entonces yo no puedo saber cuál es su error. Y usted se va a dormir esta noche con ese error en su mente, ¿verdad? Así que procuremos participar, ¿verdad? Procuremos estar activos en clase. Y además, eh, la participación, pues sabemos que no es en nuestro idioma natal, ¿verdad? Es en inglés. Así que yo pienso, si no practicamos el inglés durante la clase, ¿será que lo vamos a practicar después de la clase? Lo veo bien difícil. Así que aprovechemos la oportunidad que tenemos. Ok, let's do it. I'm going to give a chance to... Ok, uh, Let's see, uh, Wendy, Saúl, and Salvador, thank you very much. Thank you so much, okay? But I'm going to give a chance to Luz Clara and Marina Esmeralda, okay, right now. But thank you for uh, your participation. Luz Clara, number one, what do you have? I am going to watch TV. I am going to watch TV, yeah. He says, I'm going to watch TV. That's his intention. Very good. What about number two, Marina Esmeralda? I'm going to take a bath. I am going to take a bath, correct, okay? Now you have to remember that a bath and a shower are two different things. A shower is una ducha, okay? A bath is un baño en una bañera. Okay, so I'm going to take a bath. He's going to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. What about number three? Okay, I need volunteers. Who wants to participate? Okay, Wendy, we go with Wendy. Okay. I'm going to buy a new car. I'm going to buy a new car or I am going to buy a car, right? Okay, sounds good. Braulio Heriberto, number four, please. We are going to watch TV. Again, please, we are going to? To um, play. Uh-huh. The soccer. We are going to play soccer. Okay, yeah, oh, that's right. Sorry. We are, we are mm. going to play soccer. Okay, sounds good. Okay, great. So I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to take a bath. Okay, I am going to buy a new car and we're going to play soccer. Okay, those are the ones. Okay, before we finish, let's go and let's have a very quick review on this structure. Okay, going to, again, you say, I'm going to watch TV this evening. She's going to watch TV this evening. So we use am, is, or are going to and a verb for the future. Okay, like you say, I am going to, he is going to, she is going to, we are going to, or the negative form, I am not going to, he is not going to, we are not going to. And after that, you need a verb like drink, do, watch, etc. If you want to ask a question, you, uh, you just have to reverse the order of the verb be, sorry, of the subject and the verb be. And now you have, am I going to do? Is he going to drink? Are we going to watch, etc., etc. So that's the structure. But the use is this. I am going to do something means I have decided to do it. And uh, my intention is to do it, okay? We're talking about intentions. Like I am going to buy some books tomorrow. It's just an intention, but not an arrangement. Sandra is going to sell her car. Again, it's an intention, but not an arrangement. I am not going to have breakfast this morning. I'm not hungry, okay? That means this person has no intention of having breakfast this morning. 
Your hands are dirty. Sorry. What are you going to wear to the wedding next week? So what have you decided to wear to the wedding next week? Your hands are dirty. Yes, I know. I'm going to wash them. That means I have the intention of washing my hands. And are you going to invite Max to your party? That means do you have the intention or have you decided to invite Max to your party? And remember, we use the present continuous like I am doing for the futures, usually for arrangements. I am playing tennis with Julia tomorrow, but this is different because it's not just an intention. No es que tenga ganas nada más de jugar tenis con Julia. No, ya quedó con ella para jugar. So that's an arrangement. That's a different thing. When you have an arrangement, then you use present continuous. Okay. And finally, when you say that something is going to happen, that means that we can see now that it is sure to happen. You can see some evidence about it. So basically, this is a prediction based on evidence. Look at the sky. It's going to rain. Why? Because black clouds now mean rain later. When you say, oh, no, it's nine and I'm not ready. I'm going to be late. That is nine and not ready. That means late. Okay. So uh, we're going to stop this exercise, this right here. There's another exercise, but we're going to do it tomorrow. Right now, I'm just going to call the attendance one more time, and then we're going to finish, OK? Una persona no nos ha contestado. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado, are you here? Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. She's not online tonight, OK. Ok, everybody, we'll continue tomorrow. Acuérdense que tenemos clase hasta el viernes porque no podemos tener la del lunes. Okay. Marina. Teacher, disculpe, a mí me puso asistencia. Marina Esmeralda Martínez. Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, vale. Muchísimas okay. gracias. Bueno. Ok. Everybody, thank you very much and uh, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.